Hello everyone, welcome to Laodong Seas World. Today we talk about uh, first the uh, Sino-Japanese War and uh, on American uh, given. The first Sino-Japanese War uh, in 1894 to 1895 resulted in China's fiasco, the seating and uh, reparations. This fatal strike was the last straw to the crumble of the Mandarin Qing government. If the two opium wars uh, had just broken the dream of China's celestial empire, and the following self-strengthening movement, and Tongzhi rejuvenation, and Zhuo Zongtang taking back the Xinjiang, and China's unparalleled North Sea fleet, they apparently Mandarin Qing was still uh, our mighty empire, and uh, looked a uh, formidable still. Yet in fact, it had been rotten inside, and just a straw man or a giant made of mud. In China's mind, Japan had long been like a bandit, a pirate, a vagrant ronin, a piece of a small land and one of China's uh, former tribute countries. If China had been defeated by the West, it was uh, the issue of skills. Yet now it was foiled by Japan, and no excuse except for being too corrupt and impotent. And totally the only way to correct is to change and replace it. After Meiji Restoration in 1868, and Japan got stronger and more aggressive, it planned to take over uh, Korea and then China's Manchuria and Shandong Peninsula, Yangtze Delta, and Taiwan, finally to divide China. So numerous spies and agents were dispatched to uh, those areas and collecting information and the detailed maps of hills and roads. And from 1885 to 1895, and Japan engaged large scales of armaments and 60% of its income was put into military, especially the Navy. In 1887, Japanese emperor ordered to save 300,000 yen from his royal revenue and for battleships. And inspired by emperor's example, the national donation reached 1 million yuan uh, very soon, and Japanese morale was largely promoted. Japan's navy and tonnage increased to 72,000 and rapidly and surpassed that of China within several years. Yet in China, people were intoxicated in coziness and idleness. In 1889, Emperor Guangxu's wedding cost 5.4 million taels of silver. Dowager Cixi's refurnishing uh, summer palace for retreat cost 8 million. Only these two expenditures that were good enough for building four huge battleships. Japan speed up its uh, naval uh, armament. And China suspended its new purchase of new ships. And since uh, 1891, China reduced the naval ammunition supplies for three years uh, from uh, 300 boxes of shell to only three. And the total um, tonnage of the North Sea Fleet remained at 27,000, and also with many turbital boats abandoned without maintenance. In 1894, Dongshak rebellion broke out in Korea and embroiled with uh, both China and then Japan's involvement. China was uh, easily defeated and withdrawn from Korea and lost the Liaodong Peninsula and Shandong Peninsula, totally a disaster to China. On September 17th, that's 1894, at the mouth of Yellow River, uh, Da Donggo, uh, Yellow Sea, Japanese Navy raided on Chinese fleet. Uh, both Japan and China had 12 naval vessels and a cross fire for five hours, and China suffered losing almost half of its uh, battleships. From the comparison, uh, we can see their deployment and their vessels. China's tonnage 
uh, was 32,100 tons. Japan, 40,840. China had uh, ship gas 195, and Japan, 269. Torpedo launching vehicles for China was uh, 556. Japan, 568. Chinese sailor, uh, 2,126. Uh, Japanese is uh, 3,916. The average speed for China vessels was 10.2 uh, knots, and Japan is 14.5. China's uh, heat rate and doubles that of Japan, but China's shell quality uh, was worse. China's shell range 3,000 meters, and Japan 5,000 meters, and a firing speed. Uh, three times faster than that of China. A list of uh, China's 12 vessels uh, in a sea battle. The first one is a uh, Ding Yuan, the flagship of China's uh, North Sea Fleet. Uh, Captain Liu Buchan, tonnage is 7,335 tons, and speed is 14.5, and a four guns of 305 mm caliber. After this uh, clash on the sea, uh, Ding Yuan returned to the naval base, and on February 10th, at, uh, 1895, uh, Japan engaged another attack on Wei Highway. The Ding Yuan crews ran out of shells and damaged and uh, stranded on the shore. Captain Liu uh, had it destroyed in case Japan took it over, and uh, Liu himself and committed suicide. The second one is Zhen Yuan vessel. That's a twin of uh, Ding Yuan. It was called the most formidable battleships of East Asia at that time. Its captain was a Lin Tai Zheng. Speed 15.4, the four guns of a caliber of 305 mm. On December 21st, 1894, when Zhen Yuan withdrew to Wei Hai Wei Harbor, and it accidentally hit the reef and lost the capacity to fight due to the damage. Captain Lin uh, committed suicide, and uh, Zhen Yuan was captured and then served in Japanese Navy. The third one is uh, Jing Yuan, with its uh, captain Lin Yongsheng, a tonnage of uh, 2,900, a speed 15.5, uh, two guns of uh, caliber 210 mm uh, during the sea battle. The captain was killed and the vessel sank. Number four is a Lai Yuan with Captain Chiu Baoren, tonnage of uh, 2,900 tons and speed 15.5, two guns of caliber of uh, 210 mm. Number five is Zhi Yuan with Captain Deng Shi Chang, tonnage. 2,300 speed, 18, three guns of 210 mm. During the fight, they ran out of shell and tried to ram a Japanese uh, vessel, yet it was hit by Japanese torpedo and uh, Captain Deng Shitang sank together with his uh, battleship. Number six is uh, Jing Yuan, the captain of uh, Ye Zhu Gui, uh, with a tonnage of uh, 2,300 Speed 18 with three guns of 210 mm. Number seven is a Ji Yuan Hao. Ji Yuan is captain of a Fang Boqian, tonnage of 2300, speed 15, two guns of 210 mm. And during the battle, the captain escaped and then was sentenced to death, and the vessel was captured by Japan. Number eight is uh, Ping Yuan, uh, Captain Li He, tonnage of uh, 2,100, speed 14.5, the one gun of 260 mm. It was a self-made vessel by China. Number nine is uh, Chao Yong, Captain Huang Jian Xun, tonnage of uh, 1,350, two guns of uh, 250. Mm. It was uh, fatally damaged and uh, sank during the war. Number 10 is uh, Yang Wei, Captain Lin Lu Zhong, tonnage of 1,350, 
speed is 15, two gains of 250 mm at the fatally damaged and sank during the war. Number 11 is Guangjia. Captain Wu Jingrong with tonnage of 1,296, speed is 15, two guns of 150 mm. It belongs to Guangdong a fleet. During the battle, uh, Captain Wu fled away and then uh, removed from his duty, and the vessel wrecked after hitting uh, the reef. Number 12, that's uh, Guangbing, Captain Cheng Bi Guang, with tonnage of 1,000, speed 17, and uh, three guns of 120 mm. That's our corvette, uh, self-made by China, and the vessel uh, was captured by Japan later. Captain Cheng became a Navy commander of Republic of China after the Xinhai Revolution. Actually, China's North Sea Fleet had another six uh, gunships in the battle, and uh, Zhenan, Zhenzhong, and torpedo boat Fulong, and left one, right two, and right three. And the Japanese uh, 12 battleships in the war. Uh, first one is uh, Yoshino, Captain uh, Kawahala. Yoichi, tonnage 4,216, speed is 22.5, and four guns of 150 mm, and eight guns of uh, 120 mm, and 22 guns 47 mm. Second one is uh, uh, Takachiho, tonnage 3,709, speed of 18, uh, two guns of 260. The third one is uh, Akisushima, tonnage 3,150, speed of 19, the four guns of 150 mm. Number four is uh, Naniwa, Captain Togo Hihachiro, tonnage 3,709, speed of 18, two guns of 260 mm. Captain Togo Heihachiro would be the commander of Japanese fleet in defeating uh, Russian fleet Tsushima in 1905, uh, Russo-Japanese War. Number five is uh, Matsushima, Japanese flagship, tonnage 4,278, speed 16, uh, one gun of 320 mm. Number six is uh, Chiyoda, tonnage 2,439, speed 19, one gun of 120 mm. Number seven is uh, uh, Yutsuku Shima, the tonnage 4,278, speed 16, one gun of uh, 320 mm. Number eight, uh, Hashidate, tonnage 4,278, and speed 16, and one gun of 320. Number nine is uh, Hiei, it has a tonnage 2,284, speed 13.2, and two gains of 170 mm. Number 10 is uh, Fusu, tonnage 3,377, speed 13, two gains of 280 mm. Number 11 is uh, Nishikyu Maru, that's a tonnage 4,000 and uh, 100, speed 15, guns of uh, 120 mm. Number 12 is uh, Akaji, tonnage 622, speed 10.25, guns of 120 mm. During the sea battle, uh, Japanese fleet uh, was also suffered heavily, yet none of the vessels sank. The battleship of uh, Matsushima and uh, Yoshino were gravely damaged and had to evacuate. Besides, in the battle, there was an American named uh, Fino Norden McGiffen, a deputy captain of China's vessel Zhenyuan. McGiffen, uh, on December 13, 1860, was born in a family of a military tradition, and his uh, grandfather immigrated from Scotland to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and joined the American Independence War, and his father joined American Civil War and the war on Mexico. 
After high school, McGiffen enrolled in Annapolis Navy College and got mastery of uh, navigation and again operation and mechanical maintenance and also demonstrated quick weight and uh, bravery. In spring 1885, and 25-year uh, McGiffen crossed the ocean and came to Tianjin, China, and hired by Li Hongzhang as a foreign instructor to China's North Sea Fleet. He had been working there for almost 10 years, and his uh, personality and integrity earned a popular respect. In 1894, uh, McGiffen is scheduled to visit back to America, yet uh, the Sino-Japanese war broke out. So he uh, gave up uh, the uh, vacation and took up the position as the deputy captain on the warship Zhenyuan. In his letter to his mother in America, he said, Maybe I might die in the battle, and uh, this would be our farewell letter, yet I'm willing to fight for China. In the uh, naval battles on September 17th, uh, worship Zhen Yuan and that uh, McGiffen on board uh, was surrounded by three Japanese uh, warships and uh, its deck was damaged by Japanese gunfire. The injured McGiffen took over uh, Captain Lin Taizeng for the fight. He ordered all the guns on the boat to fire on Yoshino and forced it to leave the battle. Meanwhile, he also witnessed the Captain Deng Shichang and his uh, Zhi Yuan the ramming to enemy ship, yet hit by a torpedo and sank together. The after the war, McGiffen uh, got back to America for medical treatment, and within two years, he finished his book, The Battle at uh, Yalu, which uh, recorded the details of the war. In his speeches, McGiffen also repeated and the bravery of uh, the Chinese Navy, and some Americans believed he was insane uh, due to his uh, injury. His health uh, worsened, and he had to stand against uh, the rebukes uh, from uh, many Americans who uh, didn't know the truth of the war. On February 11, 1897, the two years anniversary of the suicide of uh, Ding Ruchang, the former commander of China's North Sea Fleet, he killed himself uh, with a revolver at the age of 37. And I left a note with the words, My heart belongs to China and the Chinese Navy. On his tomb, his father inscribed, The tablet is erected for a warrior who uh, loves his own yet gave his life to another banner. His tomb is at the cemetery of uh, his hometown, Washington County, Pennsylvania, and if available, and Chinese sailors should visit and show their respect. Let all the Chinese know that Norman Bassoon, who came to China from Canada to help the Chinese in fighting against Japanese aggression. But in the first Sino-Japanese war, uh, this McGiffen stood together with the Chinese to defend against uh, Japanese uh, invasion, sacrificed with his use and his life. He is uh, worthy of a remembering in the heart. Above is today's program, and thank you for your watching, and see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye.